what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today is a very exciting and a very stressful day because we're leaving for jamaica in a couple of hours and per usual we're packing very last minute usually i'm pretty good i'm not a procrastinator with anything else i am not a procrastinator with anything else other than packing and unpacking it's like hands down my least favorite activity and i just can't get myself motivated to do it i am not a very organized person unless it comes to my work usually my clothes are a mess my packing job is not the best so if you're expecting it to be some aesthetic packing beautiful packed bags video it's not going to be it i'm just going to try to do my best to pack my stuff and not forget anything and randy is constantly screaming things that i should not forget about so i'm definitely gonna forget something usually he's much better at packing than i am like look at his bag look at this guy's bag look at it Pretty, everything pretty is good. like organized like his shoes and stuff and then and then there's my stuff there's some stuff here we have this whole closet situation i don't even know what's going on in there my bag is here completely obviously i did not even touch it there's more clothes waiting to be packed and here in general it's just a mess and we have to get shit done and pack it really quick so we don't miss this flight today i'm also trying some clothes on as we go so i'm wearing this super cute dress we have one fancy dinner during our trip so i think i'm going to wear this dress for my dinner let's get on and start packing we used to care so much about like having a cute luggage but because we travel so much like we realized that obviously the airlines do not care about how cute your luggage is so every time we go on a trip the luggage is damaged and it just looks like this one so we absolutely stopped caring and just bringing whatever luggage we can find i'm going to try to fit everything in this luggage and not bring a carry-on because i hate walking around the airport and being on the plane with the carry-on so let's hope i can make that happen a couple of trips ago i invested in oh no of course because i'm such an organized person there's only one in here I was going to brag about how amazing packing with cutting packing cubes is but now I need to go and find them because honestly it is life-changing you're just packing your dresses in one packing cube your pants in a separate packing cube your whatever to a different packing cube and then it's just so easy to find it instead of just throwing everything in the large luggage I got those on Amazon I'm going to link them down below so you guys can find it and I'm going to go and search for the rest of them right now they're gone and I think they're gone forever because I cannot find Are them. In one of the I checked in one luggage. If you want to check in the rest, you can. You can help me we are going to jamaica and the temperatures there are pretty high from what i was looking we're only going tuesday to tuesday till sunday so it's only four five days that we have there but for me honestly it doesn't matter if we're packing for one day and or for a week or for a month it's the same amount of stuff that i'm bringing and my dad brought me in a way in polish there is a saying and it means that it's better to bring this stuff than to be begging people for stuff because you don't have them so because he raised me that way i am over overpacking always overpacking what so you bring everything so i bring but i'm trying to each trip i'm trying to be more and more responsible and bring less stuff because mm. obviously yeah definitely. usually what happens is i will bring my luggage and then half of randy's luggage is also my stuff so this time i'm gonna try to just pack my stuff in my own luggage and not use randy stuff we have one fancy dinner print during our trip so i thought i'm going to wear this cute dress from sandy's it's still like a beachy vibe and it's very thin and breathable but it's also very cute so i think i'm going to bring a pair of heels to match with that then of course we need some cute beach dresses this one is from fashion nova it's super easy and those dresses are so trendy right now the little tube tops and 
big dress on the bottom and of course we need some cover-ups for the beach slash the pool this color i'm absolutely obsessed with the color of this dress it's so cute it's from monday swimwear we're definitely bringing that problem with me that everything is like definitely and i can't like let go of things as i pack then i'm going to bring those um very breathable black pants and the cute tube top also from monday swimwear so cute and it's just so easy to just throw on go to the breakfast lunch or whatever so now i'm not separating anything i'm just packing everything in this one cube because i have no other cubes this dress i'm so obsessed with but unfortunately it is a little too big so me and rindy were thinking if i should it's an extra small small i feel like it's supposed to be a little bit oversized because it's like a beach cover-up so i don't think it's supposed to be like super like fitting because then it would be hard to put it on if you're like wet after the pool and stuff. whatever you say so i think i'm still going to bring it because it's just easy to put on and like go to the pool and stuff no. it's so cute but i don't think it's giving jamaica but i love it like don't you just love it i love it <laughs> This dress is from Pepper Mayo, but unfortunately, I don't think this Pepper is a Jim Pepper Mayo. Yeah. <laughs> what about this dress? I love it. Great dress. Okay, Randy. Bam. Like Randy will just say he loves everything because he's always my biggest hype man. Because all you're gonna do is take everything in this thing and just throw it into the bag anyway. Back them up. This dress? I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> Pets, are you coming with us? I don't know. This dress. I might. I might make a use of it. Honestly, I just love things that are like easy like you don't have to think about it then i have two of those dresses that i'm probably not going to be able to like really wear anywhere because they're very short but i think this one and this one will look really cute on the beach for like flash photos with my canon g7x so i think i'm going to bring them only for this purpose and i think we're good on dresses at this point I have one more dress in here in my pile of clothes that I prepped. It's this black long dress. It's cute, but I think it's a little like too formal and I don't think it's Jamaica vibes either. I need to like, I need to be okay with letting go, you know? That's like something I really have to work on. I know that this is so serious. I'm packing for vacation. I have this cute, cute cover up I bought probably a year ago and still i have not had a chance to wear it but i don't think i'm gonna bring it i need to be more selective so i need to tell myself that i need to let go of things i have this white top but i have multiple so i don't think this one is the best this dress is so cute but i don't know if there is gonna be i'm gonna bring it i am just going to bring it i am obsessed with this dress from um, Abercrombie and Fitch. You guys saw it on my Instagram before. It's so cute. Maybe this dress would be better for like the fancy dinner over the black dress. No, it's heavy and it takes more space. I'm gonna save it for some other special occasions. So let's put that aside. Those pants are so cute too. They're also from Abercrombie and Fitch, but I think I'm going to leave them because they're heavy and they're thick and I think it's going to be really hot in there. So I'm going to leave them. I have another pair of black pants. The other ones are a little bit see-through, so I feel like, no, I'm going to leave them. Oh my god, I am so proud of myself for letting go right now. I'm definitely going to bring this pair of white pants. They're also easy to just pair with any top, really. So they're definitely a must-have. Where are they from? Zara. Those are from Zara. And I think they're just like an easy throw with like a top or something. So that's going to come. I have those cute shorts from L Space and i'm going to bring this black top to kind of wear it together i think it's just also a very easy fit so i don't have to think too much definitely bringing a couple of the button-up shirts just in case i'm a little bit cold but also they're so breathable i'm gonna bring black white and this black 
uh, black, white and blue stripey one. They're all like linen and very breathable. So, you know, some girls like on their outfits and put it together and I've done it multiple times and honestly, it's a game changer. But as I mentioned, we're just doing this last minute so I don't even have time to like try it on and see if it looks cute. I'm just hoping it's going to work out at the end. I'm going to bring a couple of just basic white things. This one is my current favorite from Abercrombie and Fitch. I am obsessed with the cut of this shirt. Hello, Mitzi. I also got this cute long skirt from Amazon and I was thinking I can just like pair it with this brown top. The only problem is that this skirt has this like very ugly brew blue undertone it's like not warm and i don't know how i feel about it i think i'm going to leave this skirt here i am going to bring this brown top because i've had this top for probably i don't know how many years but i've had this top for so many years and on every trip i wear it so much so i think i'm going to bring, bring it it's from bottle rocks so cute just like with white pants, with black pants, literally anything. It's so cute. I put this cute top on the side too, but I think I'm going to leave it. I just don't think it's going to match with anything that I have in here, honestly. This top also is a no. This one, if it was like a nicer white, like why is it blue? Not a fan. That's going to stay. I'm going to also bring a pair of little shorties and this cute lace top from Zara because I feel like it's just so easy to like pair it with anything and it's going to look cute. I feel like I should wear one pair of like jean shorts. I feel like that should be like a staple. So I'm going to go and try to find them. As per usual, I can't find the right jean shorts. I have no idea since our last trip. I think I had it in the Bahamas last time, but would they be maybe downstairs in a garage on a ping pong table? Probably. Kind of stuff down there. Okay. I don't have a choice, so I'm just going to bring those shorts. I think that sums up my clothing selection honestly this is pretty good for what shit i usually pull pull with packing and how much stuff i'm bringing i literally fit it all in one cube are you kidding me moving on i really really love this basket from monday but it is very heavy and also it doesn't fold so i don't think i will be able to bring it i have different options i have this bag from fashion nova this basket is just so freaking cute but i don't think i can fit it and this little bag from mz wallace and i think honestly this one is the best one to bring because it's very light and it also will be able to fit everything I need to bring to the beach. So I'm going to pack that. I'm also going to pack this big black bag just in case we have some excursions or something that I need to pack a little more stuff in. We have one fancy dinner planned and I think I'm going to bring this little bag to wear with this long dress. I also have this cute little bag and I'm trying to think if I need it or not, but I think, I think I'll bring it just in case. Moving on to bikinis. I kid you not, you guys, I have probably 2,000 different bikinis and I always have a very hard time deciding which bikinis to bring so this time I'm just trying to bring the new bikinis I haven't worn yet I got a lot of bikinis from Monday swimwear and they're all so incredibly cute I have this black one I'm going to bring I have this absolute gorgeous green one that matches the dress perfectly so that's definitely a must 
I'm going to wear bring one brown bikini to wear under the sparkly dress for photos. I'm going to bring one pink bikini, another super cute brown bikini from Monday. I'm also going to bring this green bikini. Then I'm going to bring this blue bikini from Kulani. I think this color is just absolutely gorgeous. And then this one piece from Hatch. They do have like glass bottom kayaks there. So I thought that this with the blue water and the clear kayak would look really good for photos. And that is it. And again, usually I would bring way more than that. So I'm proud of myself for trying to keep it light and simple. For shoes, we're going to bring my absolute favorite Steve Madden sandals. I am obsessed with them. I think they have a non-platform version as well, but I love some extra inches. Even, even though I am five, six and a half, I always want it to be taller than that. So whenever I can get extra inches, I will take it. We're going to also bring those black slides from Zara and one pair of heels for this fancy dinner. I always bring a pair of heels and to be completely honest with you guys, I never end up wearing them. So it's kind of like a waste. Now we have two pairs of pajamas. I always bring two pairs of pajamas just in case. Of course, undies and socks, but I don't think I have to show you guys that. I'm also going to pack this white bikini because why not? Moving on to the workout attire, they do have tennis courts and me and Randy love to play some tennis whenever we travel and there's courts on the property. I'm going to bring whatever, some tennis dresses, so cute. And of course, my favorite wear active, it's finally time to put shorts in motion, you guys. Like, it's pretty cold in here, but it's supposedly very hot in there, so I finally will have a chance to work out in my favorite wear active shorts. I'm also going to bring a pair of running shorts. I don't like really running in, like, tight clothes, so I think this is going to be just perfect for that. Maybe one more tennis skirt because I'm very excited about that. Time to move to some cosmetics. Okay, you guys, it's time to pack my makeup. So I usually keep all my makeup stuff in this bag. So I'm just going to dump it and then put it in a new makeup baggie. <laughs> my poor bag. Usually what I like to do is just to think how I put my makeup and then grab the things as I go. Foundation and some beauty blenders. Concealer, bronzer, powder, blush, highlighter, setting spray, brow gel, powder brush, blush brush, bronzer brush, highlighter brush, some little spatulas to brush my lashes, eye drops just in case. A remote for self photos lip liner and I think that's it this is my makeup you know what actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna a couple of items into my carry-on luggage that I know I'm going to need in the morning after the flight so I look like a normal human thankfully it came like with a little baggy so I'm just going to put one concealer in here the bronzer I usually don't put a lot of makeup on it's just like a couple of items that will just make me look awake so I'm just going to put a little blush in here and that's pretty much it for the makeup stuff I am not like a huge makeup person I barely wear any makeup whatsoever my lashes are done and today I dyed my eyebrows too so I don't have to worry about my brows being done on vacation so I'm just going to grab those couple of items nothing too complicated I'm going on vacation so I don't want to be like wearing full face of makeup anyway in a heat perfect and done and the rest goes back into this old makeup bag and now time to grab some other cosmetics this bag has not been unpacked since we came back from Bahamas so I still have some things that I needed already in here so we have some sunscreens multiple different options more eye drops some aloe just in case we get burned. I always bring a nail glue with me. I do have, those are all my natural nails. 
but it is hard gel on top so just in case something pops up so it you know you girls know like if your nail pops up it hurts i've never had to use it honestly because my nail girl is the absolute best but it's better to have it than to be in pain on vacation and not being able to like fix your nails so i'm just going to bring it just in case i usually never bring shampoo and conditioner but i always bring my live-in conditioner and detangler and some like live-in hair situation because the water and stuff dries out my hair so i just like to keep them moisturized since i'm a girl i have to bring some pads and some tampons it's not supposed to be the time of the month during our trip to jamaica but i like to have it just in case because you never know then we have a face wash i am not big on skincare i'm not really good at that so i bring the bare minimum we have some face wash moisturizer under eye cream sunscreen for my face and this one is my absolute favorite it's the skin celticals spf with like a little tint in it so it's absolutely perfect for vacation then couple of hair clips because i always lose them deodorant of course we don't want to be a stinky mess on vacation i am going to bring a fake tan with me this time just because i am so white underneath and i put my tan on yesterday so now i'm tan but as soon as this washes off i'm white as a ghost so i'm going to bring that just in case of course a razor and this thing, you guys, I got it on Amazon too. And it is an absolute lifesaver because you can just like hang it on the door or somewhere in the bathroom and you can just easily access all the things you need. And then you just fold it in, zip it. And it's literally the most perfect bag. I'm going to link it down below Ooh, in my description so you guys can shop for it too. Because if you're traveling often and you don't have that, you have to get that. Okay, so this is how my bag is looking right now. I'm actually genuinely surprised and shocked that I still have so much space in here I still need to put my workout shoes in here and I think that's pretty much it so I'm just thinking what I'm forgetting because this is very much unlike me to have so much space in my luggage I do also really want to bring this hat I usually don't wear any hats on vacation but I think this hat is so cute the only problem is i have no way of transporting it and i don't want to just wear it at the airport so i'm going to stuff it with some workout clothes and hope that it's going to somehow survive this journey and being thrown around at the airport i usually have never worn hats or like cups at the pool or on the beach but it's such a game changer when you're trying to work on your phone and like be in full sunlight so this is definitely a must i also have some sunglasses but those are going to go into my hand luggage because i do not trust people at the airport to not ruin them and i think this is it i think we're all good and ready to go to the airport thank you guys for watching this was honestly way more fun to do it with you than doing it by myself and i hope you enjoyed and i'm going to see you guys in my next video